In bidirectional circuits, each connection introduces a time delay of one step. This was briefly discussed in the Signal Processing Basics Transient Sample Mode Unit. This is particularly problematic for circuits like resonators and feedback loops where additional time delays have a big impact on the frequency-dependent response. It is recommended to use the delay compensation property to resolve this problem. The delay compensation digital filter property is available when the number of taps estimation property is set to group delay, as shown here for the straight waveguide and S parameter elements. Set the property value to the integer number of time steps that require delay compensation. The time delays are removed by shortening the digital filter time domain response. For example, the ring modulator presented in the frequency domain simulation section has five connections along the ring, and a total delay compensation of five is required. We can split the delay compensation between the two waveguides such that the delay compensation values for the right and left waveguides are two and three respectively. It is recommended to split the delay compensation between the waveguides rather than apply it all to one waveguide with a distribution of five and zero as this minimizes the impact on the digital filter time domain responses. If you want to test the delay of a segment of the circuit with non-zero delay compensation in the absence of feedback loops, then set the include delays property of the analyzer to true. This is a property of all optical analyzers.